So there's some groceries there, just a few days worth of food. Oh, and some new pillows as well. That'll keep us going for a few days. shores and breakfast at the Anchorage Cafe, we were on our way, moving further north into Moreton Bay. many Stradbrook ferries that operate from the mainland to the various islands. Like an eel. Yeah. Like a shark attack. We motored over in the dinghy to Coochie Medlow Island. It was Matthew Flinders Day on the island. They had a reenactment of the landing and dancing which we missed. There were many locals dressed up in period costume for the occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together one more time for the absolutely fantastic. The Quantum dancers, storytellers, 
thank you so much. It's been, it's been an absolute honour to have you here and telling us these stories, these old, old stories. Thank you so much. <laughs> The Red Rock Cafe was putting on a special lunch menu to commemorate the day. You've got a wrap what? What's in it? Thomas wrap. Thomas wrap. Alright? Yes. I've gone for the flathead. Flathead? You've got the flathead. Sparrowmundi. I've gone for the barramundi. <laughs> oh, you love that, don't you? Who's that? Matthew Flinders. Today, Sunday the 15th of July, is Matthew Flinders Day on Coochie Medlow Island. It commemorates the landing on the island in 1799 by Matthew Flinders of the Royal Navy. He was an English navigator and cartographer who led the first circumnavigation of Australia and identified it as a continent. He made three voyages to the Southern Ocean between 1791 and 1810. We're travelling north up Morton Bay. It's very calm, very little wind, a little bit from the northwest. Um, it's a bit chilly as well this morning. Dodge the log. The sinking of the wrecks at Tangaluma was first started in 1963 in an attempt to provide better shelter for moored boats. The project wasn't altogether successful because although protection was improved, it's still uncomfortable with winds from the south through west to north creating swell. It's 6.30 in the morning and we've just left the wrecks at Tangaluma in Morton Bay and we're heading up north towards Wide Bay Bar. We've got about 80 miles to go up to Double Island Point. Barely any wind at the moment. We've got um, the sails goose winged, but uh, less about two knots of breeze at the moment. We'll probably doing that two knots of speed as well. We're going to have to turn the engines on in a minute. Break the silence. Break the peace. We've got all these large cargo vessels lined up at the moment. They're all anchored, uh, waiting to go into the port of Brisbane. Uh, this is just off Caloundra, Caloundra's over there, and that's the um, that's the Glasshouse Mountains over there, those peaks. Glasshouse Mountains on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. And that is Malulabar in the distance there, Port Arkwright, Malulabar.
They're showing off. They're showing off here. <clears throat> <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> There's our first humpback whale, just before we get to Noosa Heads. Humpback whales, half past three in the afternoon. We've just had about a dozen dolphins with us, and now we've got a humpback whale. Probably about 500 meters away from us at the moment. After closing upon Double Island Point, we headed between the mainland and Wolf Rock, eventually dropping the anchor at one o'clock in the morning. 